Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Should we just get into it? Yeah, whenever you're ready. It's fucking your Patriots. Are you gonna block out Rodney Harrison like that, you motherfucker? <laughs> doesn't even play for the fucking team anymore. Fuck you! Doesn't even play for the fucking team anymore. You spent fucking millions on that helmet. Doesn't even play for the team anymore. <laughs> you kidding me? You kidding me? <laughs> I wish. I wish I had millions to spend. Jesus Christ. That'd be awesome. Welcome back, everybody. Daddy's Dungeon, episode 120. It's been a while since we even did a proper intro. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? I feel you. Feel me? Feel you. Feel me? Feel you. <laughs> <laughs> You're totally right, though. Dude, I haven't seen you in so long. I know. It has been a minute. It has been a minute. But, I mean. We're here now. My 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 first brother is gone now, officially, unfortunately. <laughs> that was sad. Okay, he's not <laughs> It was sad. He's not dead. <laughs> he's not dead. He's, he's not gone. dead. He's, he's just, just he's just uh, out of the country. But he got deported again. <laughs> no, dude. Honestly, when I when I when I dropped him off, it was sad. Did you cry? I didn't cry there. In the car. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cry. I didn't cry. It wasn't an ugly cry. It was just one of those fucking like fuck. It was man. one of those single tear cries. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It was like fuck, man. He's fucking leaving again. Okay. And I remember, bitch. remember like a few weeks ago, I was like, what you going to do with your brother? And you said, show, show, shows. Um, it just sounded like it was just show and show. What do you mean? Not a lot of shows. I tried. I know. I tried taking him to shows, but I mean, he's obviously got his lady with him and everything like that. Should have left her. That's not, <laughs> that's not really her, her cup of tea. It's not her biggest cup of tea, at least. I know. And then it's like, I'm sure she's never been over here before. She has been, but ne never in California. What the fuck she doing over here? Never in California. Well, she's visited New York before. Ugh. But um, uh, it was definitely great having him down here. Obviously, he came down for Sound and Fury as well. Sound and Fury was a whole spectacle in itself. Totally. But uh, it was very bittersweet seeing him leave. Did you did you spend a lot of time with him? I th I'd say I spent a good amount of time with him, considering that I still had to work and do all that stuff. Um, I think I spent a good amount of time with him. Like anywhere they were going. I was just, I was tagging along with him, you know. So what what do you think your favorite your favorite thing you did was with brother John? My favorite thing that I did with him. Hold on, before you before you I heard you kept saying John 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 yeah like with John. an accent yeah so no yeah you're totally right uh -huh. but that's exactly how uh that's that's how we all call him John 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 it's not John it's John. 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 Yeah, with an accent because uh -huh. I'm a beaner, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is, dude. Okay. Anyways. Favorite thing you did with Brother John? My favorite thing I did with Brother John, I would probably say, um, honestly, dude, it was just, I loved, I loved chilling in the living room late at night after a long day and just watching movies, or, or not even watching movies, just saying that we were going to watch a movie, we put one on, <laughs> and then we just end up bullshitting. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. You know what it is? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. what it was. That's awesome. And we never ended up watching any fucking movies, just bullshitting, just doing that thing. And first time meeting the girlfriend? She seemed dope. Yeah, she was cool. She was cool. I've, I've, uh, I met her uh, through FaceTime once before. Times. Okay. But, I mean, it's one of those things, you know, if the bro's happy, I'm happy. It's all good. It don't matter. I like how she loves... Uh, Sheila? No, I like how she took upon his slang. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> that's fire. That's fire. <laughs> totally, dude. Yeah. Because, that you know, that slang is infectious, baby. The Chipotle is fire. Oh, dude. Chipotle. That's all I'm going to say. That did, that shit pissed me off. What? Do we have to go get Chipotle in the middle of traffic? Chipotle. We were going to beat that traffic, baby. When was this? We were like the first people... Ready to go, and they went to go get Chipotle. Sound of Fury? Uh-huh. Yeah, crazy. Crazy all it, those goddamn people. It'd be like that sometimes. I mean, they, they got Chipotle on base and stuff like that over there, though. You know what I mean? So you can't get her none? I know. That's what I'm saying. Right? They're married now. That's what I'm saying. Wait. I guess the whole world knows already. Did your family know? No. <laughs> you didn't tell them? No. 
I mean, they won't watch this anyway, so... I thought your sister... No? No, I don't think she knew either. I think I was the only one that... Well, us. We were the only ones to know. Wow. Now everyone knows. We got the inside scoop. All four of our listeners in reality, know. who cares? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who really cares, honestly? Who cares, dude? Good He's them, happy. Dude. As Fuck long yeah. As, uh, as long as they're chilling, they're happy, that's... That's dude, all that matters, right? They pay for his house. He has a house now, not in the barracks. He has a house now. That's oh, he's, sweet. He's but, gonna love it. But they're moving back and they're moving back to the states though after after this last year. So what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Mm-hmm. As far as career wise, mm-hmm. well, brother. What if he just stays in the army forever? Makes good money off that shit. Uh, he wants to be a tattoo artist, man. He's already rocking and rolling. You already know. I know. You already know. And honestly, I was gonna ask him for a tattoo. It just didn't feel like a good time to do it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, he it doesn't even have his equipment. I, I thought that as well. And I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to give him his time. He'll be back one day. Yeah. And I can get a tattoo at, at, during that time. Yeah, when totally. He's back, back. Totally. When, when, he's, and when he's improved drastically as well. Because I, I kind of wanted that raunchy fucking raw shit. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Those, those add uh, a lot more character to See, him. But I think when I want his tattoo, you know, he does that stamp on his, on his shit. I think I want that stamp, too. You want that stamp? Uh-huh. Oh, that'd be lit, actually. I want that Von Jargis stamp. That's good. I never thought of that. But that's kind of like uh, the raunchiness, the kind of like the not so perfect. That's what I like about it. That means a lot more, especially when it's somebody that you know and like, right? But if it's some fucking tattoo artist that, like at a Friday the 13th event, right? And it comes yeah. out shitty like uh-huh. that. No, dude. I, I got this on a Friday the 13th. And you know, my first Friday the 13th tat was this one right here. This little skull, this That's little skeleton dope. guy. Dope. Yeah, it was dope. It could have been better. Just my opinion. But then again, it was a Friday the 13th one. What did what, I really bucks? expect? 50 bucks? Yeah, 50, 50 to $80, something like that. You know, I had to wait forever. Oh, there was a gang of people? There was a gang of people. Those are always filled. Those are always filled. See, the thing is, like, I'd be wanting more tats. Well, we've already talked about this shit before. But then I want other shit more. You know, it's, I can get a tattoo. Yeah, right? we got to get our priorities straight. We got to get our fucking priorities straight. These ten dollars shows add up after a while. You know they, <laughs> totally, <laughs> totally. Yeah, I've been buying ticket after ticket, man. Yesterday I went to a show with the baby. Not with the baby, but with my baby. That'd be dope if I took the baby to a show. I don't think he'd be that in, that into it, honestly. You never know. He'd probably get mad that he got crowd killed and fucking pull out <laughs> his gun. Um. We're talking about the same to baby, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you know of another to baby. Didn't he shoot? No, that was Tory no, Lane. That was Tory Lane. <laughs> <laughs> did he go to jail for that? I think yeah, I think he did. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure he did. I've Dude, what seen a snitch. What I've seen his snitch? I've seen his mug shot a couple times. He look he was looking pretty uh pretty beat up. Beat up because he shot her in the foot? Well he was looking pretty like you Not good. Through. You got ran through. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And I would give you the world. Is that him? I really don't know. You don't gotta be perfect. I don't be listening to Tory Lanez like that, but I hope Mike Stallion is doing better. You just gotta be worth it. That's not Tory Lanez. That's some other... What's his fucking name? It's our, some other R&B artist. He's got like a shaved head, and he's got like a grill. Is that Bryson Tiller? No. Bryson Triller? What's his name? <laughs> he makes good music. Yeah, whatever. I know his name. I, I know who he is. I know the song. But, uh... How do we get on this topic? He makes that baby making music. Huh? Yes. That slow bump and grind stuff. Yeah. What music did you make your baby to? Did you make any mu- did you have any music playing at all? I don't even remember, dude. Don't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no. I don't really listen to music when I'm doing it, you know what I'm saying? Mostly more of like a background Netflix type of guy. Got the office playing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the office. Just, Too bad it's not on Netflix anymore. I know, but Peacock, Peacock's a move for sure. Is it? I don't know, my girl's got it. She watches all the goddamn shows on there with her mom. Her mom's like into like Korean, Korean shows. And she only speak Korean. Subtitles all day. Like Korean, uh, you know, like Love Island? Okay, yeah. But Korean versions. Is it Korean like Love that. Island? What, what kind of movie, what kind of shows are those? Dramas? Realities. Reality shows. Reality TV Loves shows. Loves the Korean reality shows. Is there, is there a Korean Jersey Shore? I can guarantee They gotta hop on that shit. That's the bag. I'm telling you. Give me a Korean meatball. Fucking Korean Snooky. See, so there's like a few places that I want to travel to, like when I'm a little older and have, have more money. South Korea. Okay. This is all just for the food. Okay. Because I'm a fat piece of shit. All right. South Korea. Singapore. And um, 
like Canada, like Alberta area. And the food is really just got what got your attention. It's just oh, all yeah. for the food. Oh yeah. But no like geographical things that got your attention or. Well, nothing am I gonna like see that. North Korea? But in Korea, small as shit. Well, what's in South Korea that that? What's an attraction in South Korea? Seoul. Ride the train. So the thing like. The train to Busan, and then next thing you know, you get fucking <laughs> infected with zombies. That's so, a great movie, by the way. Oh, also Japan. Like, Japan, I know for sure there's a lot of shit to do there. <gasps> that's one of, my, one of the... Oh, my mo- God. So, Tokyo, that's probably one of the most bustling cities in the world, right? Yes, I wouldn't go to Tokyo, though. Why not? It's just, like, too much. I feel like it's too much for me. Like, where I, I, I would go visit Tokyo, but I wouldn't stay there. It's like if you're in California, why wouldn't you hit up Los Angeles? Oh, totally. I or, totally why, or New York, why wouldn't you hit up... I know, but I don't think I would stay there, because Tokyo is totally accessible elsewhere. Okay. So... What do you mean? Accessible elsewhere? Like, you can get there easily. Okay. It's very accessible. All right. You know? So, I'd stay somewhere else. I'd stay closer to the Universal, because I want to go to their Universal Studios, or their Disneyland uh-huh. in Japan. They're supposed to be dank as shit. I want to go. It's not that expensive. And their Super Mario Land opened up before ours. Really? Yeah. It's probably better, too. Probably is. You're totally right. <laughs> it, op- so, it opened up before ours. That's a Universal, correct? Yeah, but that's just because, well, I mean, that's the, that's the fucking epicenter of Nintendo, you know what oh, I mean? How could it not be first? So, what was I going to say? Like, Japan? Brother, you got dank ass amusement parks, some of the best street food in the world, like, anywhere in the whole world. The sushi, unmatched. Probably. Unmatched. But, I mean, like, you walk around, and they'll be having skewers of shit, and it's probably the best shit you ever had. Cheap as fuck. And then you go to, like, what's that mountain out there? Mount Fuji and shit. I'm getting a Hotori Hanzo sword. Can you take that home? Can you ship it home? No, oh, probably not. I don't know. And then uh, they have a bunch of districts there that's, like, that have a bunch of, like, you know, like, where the deers walk around and stuff. I'd like to go visit, though, like, some old sites over there. I'm sure they have that in Korea, too, but I just don't really know about it. Mostly for the food. The food looks dank. Like, Korean fried chicken, you ever had that shit? No. That's supposed to be the best fried chicken ever. Korean. Korean fried chicken. I know Filipinos get down on some fried chicken. No, but that's some Jollibee stuff. I'm talking about like some, some good shit. This is this supposed to be some dang shit. Okay, and in Korea, there's eighty five thousand fried chicken restaurants. Eighty five thousand fried chicken restaurants, and I'd like to see all these Yelp reviews. They got Yelp out there, right? I think so, but those are the places you don't want to go. The ones on Yelp. Why is that? Because that's like the touristy spot. You know what? Where people feel comfortable. Speaking of this, speaking of Yelp. Master Burger? No. You're, you, <laughs> <laughs> you remember that sushi restaurant I sent you? The number two in the world? Yeah. Or in the country? In the country? Uh-huh. Now, considering that you just said that's the people that, that's the places that where people feel most comfortable, how, how much do you think that has into play with that restaurant? You get what I'm saying? Do you think that's legitimately number two See, in the world? See, but that's an upland. Or in the country? That's an upland, though. That's not yes. a touristy spot. Okay. So if you look up, like, best places to eat in L.A., it's going to give you a fucking gang of shit where thousands of people go. But you want to go to that spot where not many people know about, like, that okay. fucking hole-in-the-wall spot. Okay. That's the shit I want to go to when I go travel. I don't want to go, like, obviously I'm going to go to a nice restaurant out there, like, try, try some of the nice, like, touristy spots. But I want to go, like, they have, like, certain districts just for street food in Japan. And especially in Singapore, it's like four miles of just street food vendors. I want to go there. I want to try that shit. That shit's not on Yelp. You just have to know it. You just have to go and try it. That's what I like. I feel like that would be awesome to try. You need the locals to take you. Totally. That's why, like, you, you can hire local guides and they'll fucking take you. Do you know that? I didn't know that, actually. I didn't know that. So, like, the homie Daniel, maybe if I ever want to go to Japan, I can use them uh, his his cousin, I think, is in the Navy out there and is married to some Japanese lady, so they got a fucking tour with them. So, it's pretty fucking badass. So he got like a, they didn't have to pay for it and got a fucking sick local tour of a person that knows Japan. That lives there. That lives there. For two weeks, he got that shit. Yeah, that's insane. And that would cost thousands. But anyways, Japan, sick as fuck. Where would you want to travel? Where would I want to go? Honestly, dude, Ireland. Ireland has always been on my top spot for as long as I can remember. 
You think so? Yeah. All the greenery out there, man. Totally. All the countrysides. I, I, I just want to take a nice fucking stroll through a cold, breezy countryside. I've always wanted to go to England. England? Yeah. Why? Just because I was always into the side, man. Since I was like eight years old. Till I was like 17, I was super into him. And then like two years ago, I was really into him again. I just like rediscovered him. And then I'm off him. But I'll probably get back on him again. But I, was, I just always wanted to go out there because of that shit. And I was always into FIFA. Uh-huh. And like all the FIFA YouTubers are all fucking English. That's like I just wanted to go. Well, and, and all the best teams are out there. Totally. You know? Even like in Europe. I want to go to Europe. Yeah, so Europe in general. I know Brother John was really gassing up Spain. Even though they're a very poor country. Yeah. Oh, he was gassing them up heavy. He said he would even go live there. I know. I know. That's a lot. I think it takes a lot for him to pick a place like that. You know what I mean? So if he's picking that to even live there, it's got to be good. It's got to be amazing. Yeah, it's got to be. Hey, but the tapas they got, I bet you they got some dank-ass food. Tapas? Uh, tapas, those are like appetizers. That's that's what mm. their version of appetizers. And they got this one, uh, this one dish called paella, right? That's Portuguese. Well, it's in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> well, Portugal's like... Okay, continue. But pretty much it's just like a, a whole big old pot of like... Yes. Fried rice with shrimp and veggies and like it's a whole mixture of stuff and it looks super fucking dank. It's supposed to be like a delicacy out there. Like in Portugal, they cook... You know like like the carnitas they cook in that brass pot or mm. copper or whatever the fuck it is? They do the same shit with the paella giant fucking table sized pot and it's like on uh, tripods and they mix it like that it's like hanging it's fucking awesome they feed hundreds of people with that shit I'd love to try it who's got the most sauce when they're fucking cooking it up which country has the most sauce I mean if you want to get like real technical with it France I guess you think so cause like all like uh, professional level cooking like fancy restaurants is all French cuisine Yeah, I mean, I understand with all these Michelin star restaurants and all that shit, right? But, I mean... Dude, but but I think it's kind of biased. These portions are bullshit. Oh, yeah, but they're they're like eight rounds. Yeah, eight rounds of bullshit. I know. You know what I mean? I know, I still want to try it, though. Give me a fucking combo, brother. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Dude, I think it's all biased. Biased in what what way? Brother, Mexican food is fucking amazing. There's American food that's great. <laughs> Jamaican food is probably fucking amazing. Never had it. Chinese food? Not Chinese takeout. Like, legit Chinese food. There's different provinces in China, and they all make different styles of food. I want to try that shit. And who, who, puts these, who puts these leaders in the Michelin group? Who, who, who appoints them? I don't know. But I know there's, like, fucking thousands of them. Thousands. And what, and what gives them... What gives them the fucking upside to decide that this restaurant deserves a star or not? You get what I'm saying? I agree. Like, they just gave a, a taco shop in Mexico a Michelin star recently. Yeah. And I heard it's, like, crazy packed all the time. I wouldn't try it, though. I totally would try it. Just, well, you know, depending on their prices. <laughs> but I would try it just to see what's up. I mean, stoked for that guy, though. That's a huge move. Huge. But obviously, before before that, he was already making business, so it's not like he really even needed it, anyways. Yeah, because there's like restaurants that aren't eight like eight dish restaurants. What is it called? Full course meals. Yeah, that aren't tons of them. So many. Like, uh, there's a ramen shop in Claremont, I think, or Ontario, one of those two, that it's on its way to becoming a Michelin star really? ramen shop. Yeah, here. Uh huh. And so. That's what that's what it's saying. Don't you think it's gonna get to a point to where all these Michelin stars are being given out so much and it just becomes no. oversaturated? No. You don't think so? They're very picky about it. Right, I understand that. But I mean over time eventually there's gonna be so many of them. Don't you think eventually like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna snatch this star back. I think they do take stars away. Do they? I think so. I think you have to be held up to that standard. They expire? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Or do you have that star for life? I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. It's I like really it, couldn't tell you. If you win a championship, you got that banner for life. Ain't nobody taking it away. True. 
Because technically, it's like, oh, yeah. See, but they say Michelin star 2017, so I think they go mm. back and, like, does he deserve the star again? Okay, Does he okay. get his second star? Yes, okay. You know? But that star is there for life. For that year. For that year. Yeah, so I guess it's like a championship year. Okay, okay. And everyone's trying to three-peat here. Yeah, that's the move. Has anyone ever four-peated? Four-peated? Not that I know of. That'll be some GOAT status for real. Well, I mean... Maybe, maybe like the Boston Celtics with Bill Russell and them back way in the back days. then, like eleven championships. Yeah, but who, yeah, exactly. But who knows who, if who's counting that shit? Who knows if it's been a four peat or not, though? You know, where's the footage of Will Chamberlain dropping a hundred? That never happened. Never happened. Never happened. Prove it. That's what I think. You you want to know something that was mission star that I had recently? Really, you actually tried it? Yeah. What was it? Bricked up burgers. <laughs> Bricked up burgers. So where's that at? <laughs> <laughs> the large, the large barber shop. The lodge barber shop. It's by, it's by there. No, it's one of the homies. Bricked up burgers. It, it was actually really fucking good. Um, they had a show there, that I went with the baby, right? And I go in, I pay there. I was in the middle of a set. Um, I got there for the second band, but it was in the middle of the set. I walk in, pay the guy, and then uh, he's eating a burger. I was like, damn, that burger looks really good. Because I didn't see what was outside. I just walked right in. And uh, playing the set. And then the big homie, he walked up to me and said, hey, did, did he charge you? And I was like, honestly, bro, I just handed him 20 bucks and I just walked away. And he was like, nah, bro, take this. He gave me 10 bucks. And he's like, we got burgers outside. Buy one of those. So I was like, you want a burger? <laughs> oh, bleep it out. Anyways, um, she was like, oh, yeah, I want a burger. So after the set, we got a burger. He pulls out like two fucking meatball patties, right? Puts them down and fucking smashes them down on the grill. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, dude, they were so good. So good. And what? whatever buns they use, fuck, baby. Some brioche buns. Those some, are my favorite type of dang, buns. Some dang, dude. I, t- I sent you a picture if you want to see it. It was dang. The brioche buns. And they had, like, grilled onions and shit there, but baby only wants ketchup, so I just got ketchup. Fucking good. It was really good. And everyone was eating them. Everyone was getting burgers. And you're supporting the homies. Supporting the homies. That was for sure a homie show. That's what they all kept saying. Feels like 15 people there. But I just like, you know what? I fucked with Lacuna and Whirlwind, so might as well go. I wasn't doing anything. And the thing was, I was going to hit you up. But then I was like, oh, Brother Joan is here till Monday. Because that's what you said, right? I didn't know exactly when he was here till. Yeah, because I was going to, I was like, oh, maybe I hit a poser if he wants to go. And then I, I should have. Would you have gone? I, I could not have gone. Because I got home probably around, when was it? I go home probably around like six ish. You know? Oh, I, I left here at seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I could have made it. I was late. Because honestly, I was just. Me and the baby played outside for like three hours straight in the water. And then I came in, made some food. And it was like five o'clock then. Fed the dog. Dog was asleep. And I was like, fucking so bored right now. I didn't even want to play video games. I was just watching TV. The baby was tired. I was like, so bored so now you got another baby on your hands fucking kill how's me. that fucking kill me this dog is worse than when my actual baby was a baby like a legit tiny baby why cause my actual baby would sleep through the night didn't cry didn't fucking throw fit nothing until now now that she's four fucking dog man bites the living shit out of me and before it hated the crate. It would just cry all night. And then uh, I asked somebody that, that does crate training. They said, just leave him in there. Just let it happen. Ugh. You got to rough it out. Let him cry. Now she only cries when she wants out. But I just hate having to get up at like 2.30, 3 in the morning just to go take her to go piss and shit and then come back in and go back to sleep. I hate that. I hate waking up to that shit. Well, would you rather would you rather get up and take her or wake up to a, a load of piss and shit? Get up and take her, hundred percent. I love her. She's a great dog. She's definitely going through the teething phase right now, which is real tough, because she hates anything I give her that's not my hand. Any toy I give her hates it, because she wants like she wants to feel something, and I don't have like a hand s toy, something that feels squishy and hard at the same time. Talking about my fucking thumb. She goes ham on this thing. Really? <laughs> fucking hate it. I'm sure they got some toys out there. That's I just perfect. gotta find it. Yeah. yeah, I know. Fuck, but it sucks, man. I just hate waking up in the morning like that. And like I told you already, the dog woke up at 
And then at 3 o'clock, the baby's like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. So I took her to the bathroom because she's scared at night. And then she didn't want to go back to sleep, so she's up there. And then she kept saying that she was itchy. And I was like, what are you itchy from? No bug bites, nothing. Couldn't see nothing. She said, oh, I'm itchy here and itchy here and itchy here. For like two hours straight. And she just kept like waking me up like, I'm itchy, I'm itchy. And then by the time mm-hmm. it was five, she finally went to sleep. I slept for like another hour. Then the dog wanted up again. I just haven't been, I haven't slept all night. Terrible. 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 This is the life you signed up for, brother. Totally. But the dog's cooler than that. Love the dog. I just know when the dog's older, it's just going to be so much better. So I'm just already in my mind thinking about that. In like three months, dog will be dog. It won't be baby dog anymore. Well, let's hope so. Because, <laughs> I mean, babies can turn out super chill in the beginning, but can turn into complete madness later on in life. I hope, I hope not. You know? I hope not. But she does listen. She goes in the crate now, chill. Like, she'll bark for two minutes and she'll just lay down. Like, she knows. Um... She knows how to sit. I'm trying to get her to lay, to lay down, I'm trying to get her to understand that. And I, I'm also trying to leash train her. So, like, that was tough at first, but I kind of figured it out. Because none, none of the shit I was reading up on was working. So I just, you know what? I'm going to tell her to come because she would not come. Like, she would fight fight me on it. Mm-hmm. So I'd be like, I'd say, come. I'd give her a treat. She would go to the treat. So now when I say come, she follows. And then I give her a treat. Only when she listens, though. That's how... Because I learned that she doesn't know English. So, like, come is just a sound to her. She doesn't know English she, yet. She doesn't know what I'm saying yet. So now she knows what come means on the leash when I give her a treat. Because now she knows, oh, when he says this and I do it, I get a treat. She's learning. It's very smart. Is that cool? Wait, it, it, would you like to be a dog? Would I like to be a dog? If you had to be any animal, what kind of animal would you be? Oh. Huh. Hold on, answer my first question. Would you like to be a dog? No, I'd rather just be a human. Okay. <laughs> um, but the thing is, the animal I'm picturing is my first dog, Rocky. Okay. Why? Because he was a German Shepherd mixed with something. We don't know what, but it wasn't full German Shepherd. Because he was a little smaller, and his fur wasn't fluffy. It was real silky smooth, like a pit bull type fur. You know, like pit bulls, like they're not super fluffy. Uh-huh. That's what his fur was like. Short hair. Short hair, sleek. Like, sleek. Very smooth. Okay? That's not why I wanted to be him. He was just pampered. He had his own couch and shit. Chilling all... Didn't do shit. Didn't do nothing all day. Just live life. And then you got... You're on the other end of the spectrum. You're, you end up being one of Michael Vick's dogs. <laughs> Whoa, brother. <laughs> yeah, see? I don't know. I'd rather just be a human. If, if I'm honestly... What about you? Me? Well, of course, I'd rather just be a human. But if I'm put in the situation of having to pick which animal to be... Eagle. I would probably be... An eagle is a good choice. Yeah. An eagle is a free, great choice. Free as a bird. Free as a bird. Illegal to fucking hunt. <laughs> a bald eagle. Bald eagle, yes. Yeah. Illegal to hunt. Um, uh, just living life, just killing shit. Uh, a, a male one, though. I don't want to be a mom one. I have to take care of those fucking kids. <laughs> I bet you the mom ones are more savage. I don't know. See, but every time I'm picturing being an animal, I'm thinking about just chilling, just flying. just Soaring through the sky? Yep. Oh, there's a rat. Eat the rat. Fucking take off again. See the world. I love me some hippos, too. Yeah? I love me some hippos. They hunt hippos. Hippos are badass. I know they hunt hippos, but hippos are some of the most violent motherfuckers out there. Kind of natural selection, ask huh? You know, very natural selection. What do you mean? If you get hunted, you get hunted. You just got to think about it like that. And in your mind, you don't even know what hunted is. Yeah, it's just a threat. You're just there, like, oh shit, someone's there. Eat them. They but, kill a lot of people. But alligators are ex- like, alligators back down from hippos. I would be a shark, but I'd be a fucking smart shark. I wouldn't like venture out to get fucking caught by a fisherman. I'd stay in the depths. I'd fucking eat shit down there. You'd be Megalodon? Those are, those I'm being Godzilla. Honestly, <laughs> so do you think Megalodon still exists? Uh, do I think he still exists? I would. He? I think it's a dude. No, Megalodons, plural. Megalodons. Plural. Okay, well, the one that I'm thinking of is totally <laughs> a dude. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I could see it being a dude, but I'm saying... And if they're still existing, <laughs> no. there, there's got to be some kind of female out there so they can reproduce. No, but I'm saying... <laughs> 
you were thinking the Megalodon like as a monster, <laughs> like as like a Godzilla. There's only one Godzilla. <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly, I didn't know there were Megalodons. I thought there was just one. Yes, Megalodons were a real thing. Like legit real. Multiples? Yes. A whole species. Yes. It's just they they were just too big. They couldn't hunt anything anymore. There wasn't anything for them to eat to survive. Mm -hmm. Giant squid. Those are scary. Have you seen those? Those are terrifying. Like, have you seen like, uh, there's like blue whales with marks of suction cups? Those mm -hmm. are from giant squid. I'm trying to eat them. It's fucking insane. You know what? I would want to be a killer whale. An orca. Orcas are not only beautiful. Smart. Smart. But they're also an alpha fucking predator. Yeah. They're the alphas yeah. of the ocean. Yeah, sure. 1,000%. Yeah, tell it to Shamu, bro. 1,000%. Tell that to Shamu. Shamu was fucking... How many great white sharks you see in captivity right now that we get to go watch and train? Okay, hold on. Yeah. I said, Talk about a fucking I said alpha. alphas in the ocean, all right? Yeah, that's a great white, baby. No way. You're Orcas not... are fucking up sharks. Oh, yeah, totally fucking up a shark. But I'm saying, how many fucking sharks are getting captured and then we get to train them with fucking... With people and we get to watch them in stadiums and shit. Yeah. They ain't watching no shark. But instead we make movies and Sharknado and... Cocaine shark is coming up next. <laughs> Cocaine shark. Oh god, a fucking Colombian submarine goes down and shark ended up eating the fucking coke. That'd be crazy. Well, I heard that was the next sequel. Seriously? I heard that was gonna be something. But cocaine bear was a real thing. That was real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It totally was. But grizzly bears, that's another good one too. I don't know. Maybe a panda. Panda? Chill. Do you want to learn fucking kung fu? Hey, those movies are fucking good. <laughs> okay, don't even... Have you seen them? <laughs> they are good, They're yes. fucking good. They're good. All right, brother. Let's, 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 let's change the subject here. Let's see what Brother John sent us. Let's brother see. John. You, you haven't seen it yet either, right? No. Okay. I have not seen it. Okay, stay. Um. I sent it... I sent it at it. Oh, there's that burger. You yeah, want here's to see that it. burger. Let me check it out. Did that have pickles? No. I didn't remember. I got it plain. Right, right, okay. It was fucking good, though. It was fucking good. You guys heard about Reddit's goon box? Now let's no, I haven't. Let me see. Well, this is a whole minute 45 video. I don't care. We're watching it. Okay. Let's see. Your, your brother said react to this, please. You guys heard about Reddit's goon box? Now let's talk about Reddit's coconut nightmare because it is way worse. The post today I fucked up by splooging into a coconut was posted in 2018 by a throwaway account. About eight years ago, OP says that he lived in a coastal southern African country with a warm, humid climate, and that's important for later. OP's mom was trying to eat healthier, and she started buying several coconuts every week. One day, OP decides that it's a good idea to experiment with this coconut. So he drills a hole through this coconut and shoves some butter in it to make it nice and slippery. Once he's finished with this coconut, he decides that it was a pretty good time. So he's going to hide this same coconut under his bed and revisit it. And he does this for about a week. Well, a week comes and goes, and now OP's realizing that there's a strange smell coming from somewhere inside his room. Additionally, OP's house already had a pre-existing fly problem because of the warm, humid weather in the area, but it seems to be getting much worse now. OP realizes that the smell is probably coming from the coconut that he's been using for over a week now, but he decides one more time for old time's sake. While the warm, damp environment of this week-old coconut is the perfect place for flies to lay their eggs. OP starts his session, but there's a feeling of movement within the coconut. OP removes the coconut, and to his horror, and probably not surprise, inside the coconut there is tons of mold and maggots. OP even says that one of the maggots tried crawling into him. For some reason, he throws the coconut against the wall, which just makes everything way worse. He does say that this experience made him reflect on what he was doing with his life though, which is probably a good thing. One comment from another redditor sums it up perfectly, because while there's nothing normal in this post, the coconut is by far the least weird and disgusting part. The, I've never been how that- is it, <laughs> How is the coconut the least weird and disgusting part? Well, obviously it's the maggots, but it is the most weird part. Why are you- Why are you fucking a coconut, why dude? Why are you fucking a coconut, dude? I've never been that down bad. I've never been that down bad either. That is. Why, why but if I had it? to pick something, it'd be like a, a papaya or something. <laughs> you know? I'm not fucking anything. Oh, if I had to, though. Not a coconut. 
I, that, I, that, I pick a grapefruit from that, that fucking hard video. Exterior, that hard exterior is tearing you up. That's just what I think. That's why he put the butter inside. No, well, he was churning it so hard, he turned it into butter. <laughs> you were hoping to... You know? He was, he was churning it so hard, he was turning it into butter. Dude, so... Or maybe that was him, maybe that was him, like, smushing the maggots inside. That was the butter. No, but he said he put butter in it. But the thing is, is that it's a fucking coconut, so there's, like, nothing. It's just... That's it. It's void. It's void. It's void. That's, what a fucking bad fruit to pick. Yeah, see, like, papaya or something, or watermelon. Or something. Grapefruit, bro. You seen the video? Yes, yes, yes. That was a good one too. That was a good, <laughs> that was a good one too. But um... oh man, I gotta get in some dick, dick sucking competition or something. Or you know, prisoners use their fucking ingenuity. You know? What yeah, I'm saying? I've seen them use like a, a roll of toilet paper and they put a fucking gallon bag inside, or like a glove with warm water. Uh, or lo they have lotion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those prisoners are a lot smarter than you may think. So they they get like a I've seen one where they get a rubber glove and they wrap something like a towel around it to tighten it up and it looks like a like just a slit and the rubber gloves inside and they put a bunch of lotion and they fucking jerk off like that. Pocket pussy, prison yeah. prison pussy. Yeah, Fifi. Is that what they call it? Yeah, that's what they call it. Fifi. It's a Fifi. I know a Fifi. <laughs> that's what my dad would call that guy with the fupa. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy had the biggest fupa of all time. This thing was massive. All he needed was a fucking zipper. He had a permanent fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, okay, so what the f honestly? I've seen like a video of a guy having a maggot inside him, and they have hooks that like so you can't pull them out. Yeah, so the maggots. I mean, I love the maggot videos where they no. they use yes, personally I do. I'm no. a big fan, big big fan. The ones where they uh, they use the maggots to clean out any wounds of any bacteria or dead flesh, because maggots are obviously they're gonna eat anything that's dead. Is that what they do? They do. They do. They absolutely do. They absolutely do. So. Doctors in America prescribe maggots. Okay, I'm not sure if it's in America. I don't know if it's in America. But I've seen videos where maggots are literally placed onto a piece of dead flesh. And those maggots are assigned to just eat away any rotting flesh in that area. And it works. Because what happens when you see a dead corpse on the side of the road? More than likely, it's got maggots on it. Totally. Yeah. But I wonder what that feels like. Have a munch on your asshole. How about that? <laughs> That'd be freaking a sensation and a half right there. Uh, 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 <laughs> um, the next thing you know, your anal cavity is fucking yay big. So, like, when I was younger, there was, like, this picture of, like, a honeycomb hand from some shit from Africa. That's that tripophobe stuff, huh? What? You know, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, what are you talking about? Tripophobe. That's pretty much, like, when, when you got a fear of all those holes and stuff oh, yeah. like that. And it was, like, honeycombed out of his hand, and it was some larva shit. Mm -hmm. And I think it turned into a bee after. And that right there, ever since I've seen that, I never want to go to Africa. See, but wouldn't you love to just kind of, like, get a hold of this person and, like, slowly pick these out no, with some tweezers? not I at all. I would love to. That's that, what Dr. Pimple Popper's for. That would be so satisfying, you know? Or, like, all those videos where, like, with, with the... Extraction of the insanely massive blackheads. I love that shit. See, oh that, my see, god! See, those are cool though because that's not a maggot. Gets me going, dude. Jeez. Didn't you say your mom likes watching those with you? Yeah, I think like I, crazy. That's, that's where my love for those stem from, honestly. See, the maggot ones disgust me though because I I've seen how they do it. They like completely suffocate it until it needs to come for air, and then they yeah, yeah, then yeah. they grab it. Yeah. But sometimes they go back in. So I don't think those are maggots. I think those are bot flies. Bot flies are when um. I believe it's a mosquito that, a mosquito or a, or a fly that lays an egg onto an open, an open area on, your, on, on skin, whether it be an animal or a human. And that, that egg I'm throw up. I'm literally throw up. <laughs> that egg burrows itself in your skin. Stop, dude. And it starts expanding bigger and bigger until it turns into a larva. Yes, dude. And then it fucking eats their way out and it's fucking disgusting. No, and it just stays attached to the host until you get it out. It's fucking nasty. And that those are the ones where they suffocate them. You know, they put like alcohol or like uh, some 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 thick gelatinous rub 
to 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 and suffocate it. That's yeah. fucking disgusting. Yeah, see, I would love to get a hold of that. It's not on my skin. <laughs> Just pull it out of somebody. Yeah. Would you eat it? I wouldn't eat it. Well, how much are you giving me, really? How much is up on the table for me to do this? Three grand. I've always said, if you put me in a Fear Factor challenge, I'm more than likely killing that shit. <laughs> like you're going to eat cockroaches and shit. I'm eating fucking bull testicles, cockroaches. Whatever you put in front of me, I'm going to eat it. As long as there's, a, there's as much money on the line as they do for Fear Factor, I'm in. Did you know that, that they discovered on Fear Factor that if you're allergic to shellfish, you're also allergic to cockroaches? Because someone ate one and he was allergic to shellfish and he was having an allergic reaction. Really? Joe Rogan talked about so it. So do they do they just disqualify that person because they can't eat it? <laughs> he did eat it though. He ate it. Did he move? Did he pass? Mm-hmm. He moved on. Why? Well, they took him. To, he moved on to the hospital. Oh fuck. Like legit, yeah. Some fucked up shit. So well, somehow cockroaches and shellfish are kind of similar. Well, but but shellfish. Shrimp, lobster, all that kind of stuff. Oh, the cockroach of the sea. Exactly. You know? There had to have been... There's some kind of link within evolution to put those two together. I saw this this video recently on, on YouTube. And uh, they were... I mean, I guess that's kind of where it stems from. They were in Korea, right? It's not from the fucking video, okay? I've seen, the, I've seen Korea before. But the video is... They, like... They just go out and eat food and shit. But the producer hates fish. The one that's like producing the show. And then the guy's like, I want to take her to places where I think she would like it. Shorty fucking... Shorty hates fucking fish. And the first place they took her to was somewhere where you eat raw crab. Raw crab, Raw huh? fucking crab. You can eat that? Raw? Yeah. But it's like, Shorty hates fish. If I was going to take someone to get fish, I'd get them like fried fish. Something fried. Shrimp tempura, you know what I'm saying? Something where they can just, they know it's cooked. Completely block out the taste because of the batter and everything. Yeah, dude. And you're going to give a raw fish right off the get, and they're just like, yeah, I didn't like it. It's like, yeah, no shit you didn't like it. God, I'm starving. Sushi sounds so dang. It does sound so dang. I've been seeing a lot of sushi on the timeline lately. Brother, honestly, if we don't go to Arizona, I should I should take you to that sushi place I went to. We're probably going to Arizona. Let's be, <laughs> let's be real. Honestly, yeah, it's more important. <clears throat> let's be real. This is gonna be a trip and a half. I'm very, I'm, you know, I'm very excited. Honestly, um, I think we should talk about our plan now. We should get it out of the way. Okay. Okay. I don't think we should leave at six. I think it's a little. I think it's a little early. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, I think we should leave earlier. Five. Five, even. Yeah. <sighs> Five. Why is it? Why is it too early? Because I want some time to fucking walk around, okay. to check out Arizona. Because we are going to Tucson. It's a fucking major city over there. You know, there. I just want to... <gasps> just, do, just do my thing in AZ, okay. you know? I, okay. Try out some local fucking food. We'll get check there. Check out the local places. Okay. For you, I will wake up at 5. No, 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 no. I'm not saying wake up at 5. Leave for you, by I will 5. Wake, for you, I will wake up at 4. Come on, brother. So I'm thinking, this is a Saturday. I think we do a mini LDB, what we did. You get ice you, chest, you get snackage. A good, you get a good night's rest the day before, and you're fucking primed and fueled, ready to go for the road. I, I could do that. I could do that. What if I have work, though? On Saturday? Yeah, because they're, they're debating. They're debating on work? Well, you go... Then I'd get off at 9. Oh, shit. Well, that's not going to work, brother. Not, I'll call off. <laughs> that's not going to work. I'll get fired. I'll get fucking fired. Oh, dude, no. We're going to have to make, make it work somehow. I already told him I was going to do my fucking best to not have to come in on Saturday. Because they were thinking about it. They don't want to. And I was like, I'm going to make it not happen. I'll make it fucking work. Yeah. I'll be like, fuck you. I'm You're going to have to. You're going to have to. So. A lot of traveling. It's because we love fucking hardcore. Yeah. We do it for the love of the game. Ain't no one traveling like us, brother. For the love of the... Who's I, traveling oh, like us, brother? Hold on, hold on, brother. On a daily, though? Hold on, On brother. a daily? They're, they're giving... We're, I think we're giving ourselves too much credit here. I don't think so. I bet you there's motherfuckers who will go to every fest. They'll fly to every single fest. They'll go to every out-of-state yeah, show. I ain't got it like that. Yeah. I ain't see, got it like that. That's the You're bag. totally right, though. Like Kevin Scope? If you got the bag like that, dude, I'll, by all means, do it. But um, you know you gotta conserve the bag a little bit. Like 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 Kevo Scope. Uh huh. I should have sent you the comment. He posted another abstain one from like last week. 
there everyone was saying Kevin SFL. Remember I told you the Kevin South Florida shit? Uh-huh. Yeah. Everyone was commenting that shit. Is that where he's from? Remember I told you. Bro was from South Florida. He'd be making it out to San Diego, all these fucking shows. Chicago. Heck yeah, dude. I wonder what he does for What's a living. When he went to LDB as well, right? Yeah. I wonder what he does for That's where he got that sick Balmora shot of you. Now, that's that's for the love of the game right there. See, that's the homie. That's- I wish he was a homie, but I'm saying that's the hardcore homie. I wish I had it like that. I wonder what he does for a living to where he can travel like that. You know? Because he doesn't have the most followers on Instagram. I think he's at like a couple thousand. He's not making money off that. No way. No way. What is he doing? Maybe. May, man, who knows? Sugar daddy? Who, maybe. Shit. If that's the case, I need to hop on that. <laughs> Damn. That fuck. I had that at one point, but I lost it. You should find him again. <laughs> now, honestly, he's probably deceased by now. R.I.P. Um, hope he's doing well. We should go find him. You know, you know who I'm talking about, yes, right? Yes, we talked about. Okay, him he was not my sugar daddy again. To to clarify, <laughs> he was just a good guy. He Help. was definitely your sugar daddy. He's a good guy, just helping a youngster out. I hope he bought you iPhones. He was a good guy. He paid for your phone service. He was a good guy helping a youngster out. That's what it was. He occasionally like spotted you at the gym. During- <laughs> 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 Technically. Technically, didn't he pay you to, to train him? Yeah, he did. Absolutely. So you're doing a service. Absolutely. He, pay, he, pay, he paid me to train him. $100 a week. And as a youngster, that was the bag. Who's that guy from Family Guy? The fucking pedophile? Um, Herbert the Pervert? Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, Krius. Hey, Krius. Broken Grandpa? Nose? nose been bothering you, sir? Grandpa. No. I noticed you're touching your nose a lot today. No, I mean, I like hearing the click. I like hearing it. I, I'm fucking... I, I, I've been doing it all the time. So what happened? What happened, what happened was we know exactly what happened. I'm, maybe you didn't see it, but... I didn't. So what happened was demonstration of power. And this is where we're going to get into Sound and Fury here. But demonstration of power was violence. Right? These guys from Scotland, you got to go hard. You don't get them in the States very often. But anyways... This was after the uh, death recover, right? And I'll, at that point, I was on 100. I was on um, X Games mode. And I was going side to side, you know, doing my thing. And I don't know where this fucking foot comes from. <laughs> who knows? And honestly, I would like to know who it was just, just, to, just see, to see, just for my own... Have you seen the, the 197 video? No, no. And I don't think it's on there, honestly. Maybe we could catch it. I would love to see who it was just just, just, for, just, just for fuck's sake. Just for fuck's sake, exactly. Yeah. But I get a, a fat foot to the face and it just compresses my nose into my face. First bloody nose I've ever gotten in my life. What? Yeah. First bloody nose I've ever gotten in First my life. First headache ever? With me? No, actually, that didn't, uh, that didn't, it, it wasn't, it wasn't too much pain, actually. Okay. It was just a stun, you know? Like, when you get hit in the face with a basketball, you can't help but run your tears. It's just instinctual. It just happens. Yeah, it just happens. But that's exactly what happened then, and, um... It was brutal. I had to get out. I had to get out for 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 a quick little uh, break, uh, maybe like thirty seconds. There's thirty seconds to a minute. I had to get out, like compose myself a bit. Fine, fine. But then uh, at that point, it's like I was already fucking battered and beaten. So Just might as well go ham. Might as well keep going. And that's exactly what happened. So after that, I didn't get hurt at all anymore. But I did suffer a slightly broken nose. So. Looking back at it now from our Flyers episode, we discussed who we were most excited to see. Mm -hmm. So who, in your opinion, was the highlight of day one and day two? Highlight? Okay, I forget who was day one and day two, but I will say, hands down, (laughs) Kumo 99. That was day one. That was such a fun set. I had so much fun. They, They had the vibes. They knew what they were doing. Sound and Fury, they did a great thing. Great, yes. Putting them on. The thing is, they were there last year, too. They were not. Yes, they were. No, they were not. They but, had to be. No, they were not. But uh, it, that was awesome, man. That was a great set. Let's so, see. So, Drug Church was day one? I thought they were day two. I don't recall. Oh, uh, they're saying here. Um, I... 
But highlights would probably I be... I had so many bands that I was so excited to see for both days. My day... Oh, here's day one if you want to take a look before you finish. I'll let you do your day one, day twos. So, for sure, Demonstration of Power, uh-huh. Kumo 99, and Scarab. Those three were my absolute favorite. And then on top of that, I'm going to add, for me, I, all three of those that you said were my top, especially Scarab. There, I think that might be number two for me. Number one was Drug Church. Legit, brother, I wish you would watch it. No offense. Fuck you guys. <laughs> the fucking one band I was most excited about, you guys like, oh, I'm tired. I'm going to go sit my ass down. <laughs> brother, he dove into the, he dove into the crowd, lost the mic, and the whole crowd was singing the lyrics for the whole rest of the song. It was so awesome. What did disappoint me, though, is that the people around me were giving me weird looks when I was singing the song. Because I wasn't super close. And it's like, fuck you, dude. Why is that? I don't know. Just because you were vibing. Yeah, they were fucking haters. You know? But day two, man. Day two was insane. I will yeah. say... Day two was like 10 times, maybe 20 times more violent. More madness. Much, much Th- madness. more Madness. Insane to the membrane. What the fuck is this? Big boy on top. Big boy's gonna start. He knows what he's doing. They're gonna start fucking being headliners pretty soon here. Crowd control on top on one hundred. Like we've talked about it before. After LDB, it's like every time we see him, he he just wants more violence, more everything, and he got it. He fucking got it. But that's what I I, I saw an interview with him, and he has said if 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 the crowd is not moving, he is failing. You know, their their music made people move. Their music, it's it's that's all it's all mosh parts. Everything is mosh parts, and that's exactly what he wants. That's exactly what Big, big Boy was made for. But Big Boy was an extremely big highlight, and I would probably say, "See You, Space Cowboy." Did you watch him? I did from a distance. Oh, okay. And torture. That's it. Those are my three. Uh, luckily, I got. Pretty close to the pit for torture. That was awesome. The pit was crazy. That was a war zone. That was, that was hell. That was insane. Was that the most violent pit you think? The most violent pit? No. The most violent pit. Bog. I think was saying with Sugabog. Bog. That was crazy. And the same thing with those guys. The crowd control they have. <clears throat> was that really crowd control or is that just the reaction they're getting? I think that's the reaction they're getting. Yeah. So but I think the wall of death is. Crowd control. Yeah, totally. You can't just get a wall of death without it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I agree. Let's see. But they got it like that, man. They know what they're doing, and, and they're they're slowly but surely making themselves up to a, to a headlining act, you know? They were close to it this year. Very close. Second up. Yeah, very close. A rip to have heart, dude. Having to follow that? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. Having to follow such a big set? Let's see. Big boy... Desmondry wasn't my favorite set of the day, but the turnout they had for me for an opening band was crazy. Well, I'm almost up, baby. Opening band was fucking insane, but Big Boy, Terena, what Be- next? Very happy for Terena. Very Extremely happy, happy for Terena. Speaking of happy. Koyo, also. Fired. Always. So they I got the uh, energy. The homie from work pulled up to the show. I've been trying to get him to shows, and he's like, I will go to Sound of Fury for you, okay? He went, and uh, like I told you, we're just walking, and then some of the IE people are like, yo, come sit with us, because we're trying to find a spot to sit. And just letting them talk to him about what they did, and him just being so like, what the fuck, like amazed of everything that they were saying... That was cool. That was so dope. That he was excited for that. Like he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm the singer Big Ass Truck." He's like, "Wait, wait, you're you're the singer Big Ass Truck? You're this, you're that." And then, like uh, Mitch was like, "Oh yeah, I used to run the the small room and the the observatory." He's like, "Wait, you ran the observ- uh, the constellation room?" She was like, "Oh yeah, I did that for like five years." Wow, I didn't I didn't yeah. know that either. Uh huh. And then he was like, "Wait, you?" What, what? He was just like in awe of everybody. It was so awesome. A bit starstruck, huh? Yeah, it was awesome. And I remember telling him like for Weapon X. Because he, he didn't want to get by the pit, and me neither, thank God. I said, oh, let's stand here. I was like, you know what? Honestly, I think we're too close. And we stepped back again, 
right when it started, pit right in front of us, like a big ass pit, right in front of us, like I told you, bro. And then that motherfucker split it down the middle. That was crazy. That was crazy. No wall of that. No, but he was like from front to back, open it up, and everyone just went crazy. That was sick. And then Big Boy to follow that shit, and I said, just get ready. And they did it beautifully. They did it beautifully. And then uh, I heard him kind of talking. And and I just look at my friend and I was like, brace yourself. He was like, what? I was like, just brace yourself. Something big is going to happen. And that's when he split it side to side. The biggest pit in the world. Side to side, split it. And then everyone just starts pushing us and we just started going like that. Just fucking walking back. <clears throat> fucking awesome set. From one stage to the other. Dude, it was sick. Open it up, he said. He was Moses. <laughs> he parted that bitch like the Red <laughs> Sea. But yeah, honestly, it was a... Uh, Great, great weekend. Much better sounding fury than last year. I could firmly say that. Firmly. Firmly, firmly, firmly say that. Um, thoughts on the Prince Street Pizza after? Thoughts on the Prince Street Pizza. Would you get it again? Would I get it again? I would get it again. Okay. I would not get all those. I tried different different flavors. I did as well. I would not get all of the same ones. Mm-hmm. Um, Just order a whole pie. I would get it again. But I don't think it is as crazy as you made it up to be. So the one in L.A., better. You think so? Totally. But that, that's because it was, there was only the one in New York and L.A. at the time when I went. Only two. Now there's like five. And the only reason I wanted to go to the one in Pasadena was just because it was closer to home. So you think, you think that is um, what would you even call that? They're kind of... Uh, Chaining. No, not chaining, but with adding, with expanding... Quality control. Their quality is diminishing a little bit? Maybe. You think so? Maybe. But um, honestly, I think the pizza's really good. I'd get it again. It's not bad pizza. Not bad at all. No way. It's actually, it's got a, it's got a different twang to it than you don't you typically get uh-huh. in normal pizzas. You know, especially, what was that, the... the hot honey. Hot, the hot honey. I've never in my life had that on a pizza. The, the four cheese pizza was probably my favorite. It was dank, man. I love me some fucking gooey, gooey ricotta. Oh, baby. Before we go, I got one question for you. How the fuck do... Where do I turn this disposable camera in? Ain't got a clue. Uh, I want to get the photos made. There's a bunch of little... Uh, there's a bunch of websites. Will I get the camera back? I I believe so. Okay. I'm not sure. That might be like a different option. But they don't have those at like CVS or anything like that no more? I don't know. I guess I have to look it you up. might be able to try a pharmacy, but I know there's a lot more websites nowadays because obviously those aren't as used as much. Dominant, yeah. But there's a lot more websites out that, that do develop your film. Because I did take a lot of photos that I have no idea how they came out, uh-huh. and i just wondering. Yeah, that'd be dope to see. Wondering. I Heck took yeah. some selfies, too. Just want to see, like... Uh, how well those came out, if I was accurate or not, or like if it's like half my head's out, you know? Yeah, it's going to be fun to see when we actually get them. I just wish there was more photos on there. I should have bought two. I used all of it day one. How many were there? 27. And you know what? That's, um, it makes them rare. It makes them more valuable. Yeah. Well, I'm ready. You ready? I, I'm starving. I'm going to go get some grub for sure. (laughs) But I am absolutely ready to go. All right, guys, you can follow us on Daddy's Dungeon uh, at Daddy's Dungeon Pod on all fucking platforms. Just follow us. Eat my ass. I don't know. And uh, that's all we got. Episode 120 and counting.